there are so many cool things happening in our COE right now that I don't think I could go into all of them. But I can give just kind of a, a, a brief overview of some really neat things that we have going on. We've rolled out our own cloud. That's a cluster of computers that we're using to perform high performance computing tasks. Um, we're creating a shared storage, which may not sound very interesting, but if you use Dropbox or if you use Google Drive, we're kind of creating our own here that's highly secure and we can use it to share student data and things like this. And that's very exciting for me. Um, we can also deploy a web server on this cloud in a matter of seconds, which is very exciting for me because I remember back in the dinosaur age when it would take me a week to set up a server. So I'm really excited about those kind of things that are happening at our infrastructure level. Uh, we're also looking um, at a course management level, at, at different options, more exciting options for providing and enhancing our courses online. Um, both synchronously, that is in real time, and asynchronously, that's kind of time shifting so that you can take your courses uh, in such a way that you can manage your own time and go to class when you want. So there's neat things happening there. Um, and we're also, I've been working on a project where we've been deploying iPads in teacher education programs. We're at the point now where we're doing some distance supervision. So I've got some interesting designs for distance supervision using tablet devices and uh, phones. I'm going to give you a demo of that in just a minute. Now, one of the things that we're doing that's very exciting in the College of Education is we're creating a hot classroom. A hot classroom means here or there. What that means is that you can decide to come to class and participate in our face-to-face -face class, or you can stay home in your jammies and participate in class online. So you can participate here in this classroom or you can participate at home whether you're in your jammies or not doesn't really matter. So some of the challenges that we face though is well we move around the classroom a lot when we're in a face-to-face -face classroom and if we have a device that sits static and doesn't move well that's great if I'm on this side of the camera but if I'm on this side of the camera, students who are online at a distance, they're not going to be able to see me. They might, they might not be able to see the action that's happening in the classroom. So one of the things we wanted to make sure that we did for our here or there classroom was to provide a high degree of social presence. That is a feeling of being there with others. So we want you, if you're a student at a distance, to feel like you are there with others. And we identified this device, this is called the Swivel. And this is a little robot, and it's called your personal cameraman. And what you can do with this is take your mobile device, and you'll remember that uh, one of the goals of our system is to have it be uh, transferable and uh, all of the different components to be reusable. So what we can do is we can just take that mobile device from this static system, and plop it right here into our swivel. Now that may not look very interesting, but once I turn it on, I'm going to pull out this little piece that comes with it. This is a tracker, it's a marker, so the swivel will know where you're at in the classroom. It also has a little microphone on the top. Okay, so I will take the lanyard and I put it on and I now have a microphone and the tracker attached to me. So let me show you what this does. The first thing I'm going to do, I'll turn on the iPad so that you can see what the iPad sees. Then I'll turn on the swivel. I just hit the power button. And then I hit the power button on my lanyard. And as I walk into view, swivel is going to see me and it's going to follow me as I move around the room. So what I could be doing is I could be talking here at this whiteboard and I could be giving a lecture or talking about a slideshow. Uh, it's a smart board so I can be just using this as a touch screen and then let's say I want to change position in our classroom. I can then move and Swivel is going to follow me. Now let's say I don't really like the angle that Swivel has. I can just adjust the height. I can have it pan down as you can see it's tilting, so I can change the angle by using this little marker to show Swivel where I want it to go. Here's another nice thing. Sometimes the Swivel just doesn't do so great when you throw it on a table. 
so it's a whole lot easier to tripod mount it. So it has a little tripod mount on the bottom. And here's a three or four dollar tripod I got off of some deal site online. When you put it on a tripod, I find that the swivel has a much better time, particularly with panning and tilting, so you can see it's going to tilt probably a little bit better. Now again, we want to create systems of our own that are going to be interchangeable, that are going to have parts that we can reuse. Well, one thing I showed before, I'm going to switch the view on this so that it's looking out the back, and I'm now going to turn this around, and I'm going to put the fisheye lens on here. I now kind of have the best of both worlds, whereas before, in one of our previous systems, we have just a static fisheye lens. In this system, now it can follow us around and it's going to uh, capture even more of the classroom interaction. And as with our previous systems, we don't need to rely on an iOS device. We can throw in our Android. It will work just fine in the same system. And we can even throw in mobile phones, whether you have an Android or an iPhone or whatever. One of the things that we have is we have an existing conferencing suite that we use for our synchronous classes. What we can do is we can take a webcam and we can actually attach a webcam to this. How cool is that? And live stream whatever is coming through the webcam into our conferencing suite. So um, we just we have some really neat applications that we're using this for um, here or their classroom, uh, providing uh, enhanced social presence in our existing classes uh, and being able to do distance supervision and uh, to have students record their own teaching and then self-reflect on their own teaching. So lots of things that we are doing with the swivel. Very fun, very exciting.